vector-borne diseases make up about 17% of infectious diseases in the world. The infections that we study are spread by Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, which is a day-biting mosquito that loves to feed on humans and loves to live in and around our human households and prefers to actually breed in man-made plastic containers. They're particularly difficult to control because they're sort of nestled in with us. And so um, to be most effective, we really have to really target the containers that, that they breed in. Unfortunately, vector control right now in Kenya is limited to insecticide treated bed net distribution. And so there isn't control going on in Kenya for these other mosquitoes. One of the reasons why people in our communities are at risk for these infections is because they don't have safe, reliable water sources. So they're forced to actually have vessels that will collect rainwater so that they can make sure that their families have the water they need to do their things. A lot of times when, when people do these studies and they're looking for productive containers for ADs, they focus on the container type. And what we actually found is that the purpose of the water in the container is really, really important. No purpose water, which is water that's just rainwater that's collected in uncovered buckets or drums or, or small containers, actually produce more than half of our mosquitoes. If we can get rid of no purpose water, we can get rid of a lot of disease risk. Unfortunately for our community members, there isn't a, a, a large knowledge base when it comes to mosquitoes and mosquito-borne diseases outside of malaria. These are important things that, that um, we could target in educational interventions and try to increase the knowledge that's known about vector-borne diseases in, in these areas. But I think an overarching message from the study might be to really get to know your local community and what those barriers and facilitators are to healthy behaviors and then really work with them to promote those acceptable, suitable behaviors so that people can be empowered and inspired to protect themselves and their family. That's all anyone wants to do.